Okay, all right. Um, we're doing our first interview, I mean, with, with a voice actress. I mean, you're gorgeous. How long have you been, like, in the industry? Like eight years as far as voice acting. I've been an actor since the year 2000. Really? Really? Oh, oh very cool. Very cool. Um, I mean, just kind of give us a quick rundown of either your favorite voice actressing parts or just kind of a general overview of what, you know, you've done over the years. Okay. Well, I have, my first role was Mitoko Minagawa in uh, Fruits Basket. And then um, I've been doing like, a, I've, I guess I've done like a hundred cents different roles. My favorites, which I've recently narrowed down, are Witchblade from Witchblade. Um, now I can't remember what they are. Uh, there's a, a role that is on the list, but I can't say what it is. It's new. And there is Ophelia from Romeo and Juliet, because that was a really good experience. Um, Mikako Satsukatane from Heaven's Lost Property, because she's a lot of fun. And Miss Polly from Shin Chan, as well as, what's the other one? Hmm, hmm. I really like Aki Hinata from Sergeant Frog too. She's a lot of fun. So those are some of my tops, but I'm also Liz and Soul Eater and Shirley and Strike Witches and Mimi and Rin, Daughters of Miss. So I've been in a lot. I've been in a lot. Awesome. Hard to pick favorites. A lot of very a lot of very fun roles. I mean, really, I feel like you kinda get like the the pick of the litter in terms of like, you know, really kind of stretching yourself and doing some more like funny like outgoing stuff you know for sure like especially with Shin Chan, Sergeant Frog I mean awesome I mean really really awesome um, in terms of like I don't know getting getting into the industry I mean has it been difficult has it been something that you've kind of always like worked towards was this you know something that you set out to do is like I want to be awesome voice actress extraordinaire like this, you know, it kind of exp explain to me a little bit of your process in terms of how you went about, like, kind of getting into what you're doing for a living. I mean, you're making thousands of people happy. I mean, if not tens of thousands of people, you're giving a voice to characters, uh, you know, that kind of really... It, it, <laughs> American audiences can more resonate with, you know, an English voice, obviously, you know, like it just kind of, I don't know, give me a little overview of, of w how you got into it. All right. Well, you are quite the flatterer. Um, I was an actor. I would never saw myself as a voice actor for anime ever in a million years would I've ever imagined that. Um, but I was an actor. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University of Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner. Um, and so I was at a house thing that I met someone at someone else's home that worked for Funimation and they said, oh, you're an actor, you should come audition. I did, and I was like, okay. So they were having auditions for Fruits Basket and a couple of other shows and I went and I got cast in Fruits Basket and I've been working there ever since. So it was, that's kind of how it was set up. Um, I had done a lot of stage and some film and commercial work and stuff like that beforehand too um, and have since, but it kind of ended up being getting more and more steady and then I started writing and then I directed for a little while. So it kept me busy, kept me on my toes. I really liked it. Very cool, very cool. I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, you, I, it, this obviously is not your first con. Yeah. I mean, this obviously is not your first con. Going up and doing like signings or like a Q&A or something like that, I mean, like as a voice actress and an actress in general, like, I mean, you have to kind of have, you know, a little bit of a rapport with, with your fans, you know, in terms, like when people come up to you, I mean, do they like demand a lot of stuff? Like, are they, you know, really expectant of like, oh, you know what, you need to be in your character, you know, because I, you know, I have an idea of who you are as a person in my head just as like a voice. I mean, do you get a lot of people, you know, kind of demanding things of you at all? Um, not some, not really though. Most of the people that I meet, um, you mean, oh wait, or do, you, or do you mean like, oh my gosh, you're a voice actor, do an interview. You mean like that kind of demand? Uh, well, I've... 
Not necessarily. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, like. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. In, in like, <laughs> I, I have to say, they're, they're, you know, I do, I, I, I rap. I'm not going to, you know, I've rapped for about 11 years. I performed a lot of shows. You know, when people find out, you know, yeah. Do they kind of expect anything of you at all? Most of the time, they are just really appreciative, or they just want me to know what show that they like, or you know what they're a big fan of, or um, all of those different things. Um, recently, the biggest, I guess, would be Hitalia, and people are way more excited about me being the narrator in that than they've ever been about any show ever. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the first time I ever had anybody cry, and that was very bizarre. They just didn't realize they were talking. I, I don't. It was very bizarre. Um, I mean, flattering. Don't get me wrong. It was. I was like, oh, hello, ego. But um, no, most most. I would say 99% of the fans are just so grateful and thankful and warm and and considerate. So every once in a while, in every crowd, you'll get someone that you're like, mm, that doesn't make me feel comfortable. But other than that, it's. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 great. I mean, really, to 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 be where you are and to have that kind of like a fan base and have people recognize you for your work and be really appreciative of your work because I mean not to not to take away from the voice actors in Japan who are you know really doing it but when you bring it over to another audience you have a lot of a lot on your plate kind of to bring that in the inflection and to kind of make it socially relevant to like an English speaking audience. Um, I mean, is there anything that you've kind of done to prepare for a role um, or in terms of like, you know, thinking about what you want to do for a character? When you audition for a character, I mean, do you know kind of what you want to do? Like what do you want to bring to the yeah. table? You get the sides. Sometimes if you if you have the information early enough of what show it is, you can do research on it and know what, know what the show's about. Um, Normally there's certain types, like most characters will fall into a certain category. Yeah. So you may not even audition for the role that you're cast in, you'll audition for a particular type of character and then they can sort based upon voice for who fits that character the best. Um, but as far as preparation, you just have to be ready to act at all times, like ready to throw yourself in the mouth. I think it's harder when you're in the studio, when you don't know what the script is because you haven't read it first unless you wrote it. If you wrote it and you get in and you're like, oh, I know this because I totally wrote it, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, it's, that's great. That's great because then you look like a rock star because you know everything. But, um, you know, you get in and you have to immediately make a choice and act and roll with it and not be afraid that you're doing it wrong. The director will lead you in the right way and they're always very, very, very helpful. And uh, then the engineers are fantastic because they make you sound good. They make the whole thing possible. <laughs> so uh, my preparation is just staying honed as an actor. Very cool, very cool. I mean, really, like, you don't seem like you have a gigantic ego on your shoulders, <laughs> you know, at, at all. Um, very humble, which is great. And, you know, I mean, just to kind of, just seeing you interact with the fans even, you know, like there's that kind of imagery associated with people who work, you know, in the industry, you know, that are kind of, it's kind of a jaded feeling. Like, it's like, yeah, okay. I'm sure, you know, that's, I really appreciate. I don't care that much, but you seem like, you seem like you're ingrained in it. And I mean, it's, it's, you seem like you're very, very happy to be working with a lot of people and you're very close with the fans. I mean, there are a lot of people, I mean, narrator, narrator for Hatalia. Huge. Well, that's one really. That's one I was forgetting. I don't know why I forgot that. Because I wrote it for myself. <laughs> I, but, I, I, but I mean, really, that's that's gigantic. That's gigantic. I mean, there are so many people. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie to you, Hatalia. I very little little knowledge about little knowledge about. I will. I will. In fact, I will. I will put it on the internet. As hard as I can. Oh, maybe I will. Jamie maybe I will. Uh, give me, <laughs> let me, one more time. Jamie Markey, voice actress at Facebook, whatever it is. I think that if you could just search Jamie Markey, I'll come up. Slash. I don't, like, n no. No. Like, what are you talking about now? You've lost me. That's just the internet. That's just the internet. 
Uh, my cousin's actually the keyboardist for Guns N' Roses. Dizzy? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. 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 No. It's all right. Um, um, I'm on Twitter too. Marky Mark. M A R C H I M A R K. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much for the interview time. I don't want to take up any more of your time at all. Hey. Hey, I excel at that. I excel at that. A beautiful woman, awesome voice actress. Obviously, you're parched. I'm a fan of water. I was going to go get a soda. Don't tell. And then I'm going to go right. I won't say anything. I'm judging the masquerade. I'm going to go right. Ooh. Um, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.